What's up everyone, welcome to today's video, welcome to the Video Game Fry School channel, thank you very much for tuning in. So Sasquatch Squad Killed the Justice League is getting more and more awareness, apparently the one thing I've been waiting for, before I give any kind of even recommendation, which I wouldn't even recommend this game to many of you, most of you in this community, you're used to playing single player games, I'm a division player, hours and years in that game, a whole YouTube channel to basically show for my work and time, so the kinds of games that I will play and the kinds of games that I like, are in most part contrast to what many of you would like, even though we have overlap in some of the titles that we all play. And with this comes a lot of people and their opinions. You usually have people telling you what it is they think about the game, and you have people telling you if they're gonna play or not, sharing their opinions. But in all of this, there's my favorite kind of comment that usually comes in once in a while, or in many cases, they will come in in droves. And that is that comment that tries to paint you in some kind of suspicious light, or cast doubt on your credibility in one way or the other. They make it seem like you're doing something bad, and they'll go ahead and leave snide remarks like, you're working harder than WB to sell this game, LOL. Look at this comment from Emperor of Man. And so I laughed and I, in my mind I said, I wonder what he's talking about. And I look on the right side and oh, it's the video where I actually showed you guys that Stefton Hill came out and said that they were excited to make the Suicide Squad game. Remember the same video where he said, we looked through all of the DC villains and in looking through the rogues gallery, seeing that they had a lot of different villains, we chose to go with the Suicide Squad. Basically proving to you that they at Rocksteady wanted to actually make this game. And somewhere, somehow, that's me working harder than Warner Brothers to actually sell the game. You see, the gaming community is very interesting and because you know people can hide behind anonymity, they think they could just say anything and somehow it reduces or removes the incoherence of the things that they've said or at least just the waste of internet space that these people basically occupy. Because at the end of the day, this is not productive to actually form any conversation that will move things forward. And the reason this is a defeating enterprise trying to come to the Video Game Fight School channel to start, you know, telling me or maybe insinuating that maybe doing something wrong or I may like low quality games. You just know how they do it. Remember in Gotham Knights, I have the receipts to show for that. The best thing that we can actually, you know, dedicate time to is understanding exactly the framework of the gaming market. And this is why I've also taken time for the longest time to do a lot of videos on you know, Xbox, PlayStation, the different publishers, different developers, because there's an understanding of the gaming industry that I need to be able to continue to inform my audiences. This Suicide Squad game is not in any way occupying the load of single player games that are out there. In fact, many live services game games, they fail. And you can count on this. Those of you who have a problem with it, you can count on most live service games actually failing. So if you don't want to play Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, that's wonderful. The game, according to you, might fail. But here's the beauty. There are many single player games out there for you. And the problem is your petulance. You're a whiny little baby that cannot live in a world where not everything is built and centered around you. This kind of attitude, I see it all the time. And I want to make sure that I keep pointing it out because if we don't, we're going to let these people just basically walk away. It's a, it's, it's a big deal. It's actually a problem. It simmers down to a much younger generation. Many of you know that I work with young people. I work in you know the education system. And this kind of attitude is something that you know you won't be able to deal with if you start seeing it show up in the real world. Because as I've said many times, in the most iconic way, even Warner Brothers themselves are the people that made the highest selling single player game in 2023 this same publisher that these people are somewhat you know double entendre roasting are the ones that went out there and put probably what i think is the biggest fan service on the market in a single calendar year even trouncing call of duty like think about many other single player games that came out to share the space some of them did not meet their fans' expectations. Maybe they got, you know, basically killed by controversy, Starfield. Maybe some of them, in, you know, the grand scheme of things, uh, you know, had some really interesting aspects that people think are forgettable, a.k.a. insert Marvel Spider-Man 2. However, Hogwarts Legacy came in and did the job. And Warner Brothers even dropped another single-player superhero game in 2022, but some of you, because of your high taste and because you're too bougie, you said Gotham Knights was beneath you, so go play another nice game that you want. And I'm very, very keen on continuing to make these videos because, again, this is not just, you know, this particular attitude. 
I want to show that this is also free content the more they keep doing it. Guys, I saw somebody yesterday. They were saying, you know, you make about 20 videos of Suicide Squad. You're hell bent on convincing people. No, I'm trying to tell those of you that are thinking that, you know, you maybe have anything to do with this game. Don't touch it. This game is going to burn you like fire. Some of us were braver. You know, we are we're battle tested in this life of disappointment or maybe, you know, things coming to fruition or maybe they eventually work out or maybe it becomes a bust. We're used to that kind of stuff. Some of you are not. You will cry if your $70 purchase that you make on a video game does not be everything that you wish it to be. And you're the kind of gamer that's going to be coming on the YouTube channel, you know, complaining. And I really do not want your complaints. And hence, I'm telling you not to buy the game. I told this to somebody in the comment section yesterday. You know what they told me? I'm absolutely going to buy the game when it's on sale. <laughs> I was like, well, what? What? Then why are you bothering me? Why are you complaining? And I'm sure this Emperor of Man person, you are probably going to buy this game. So what is the problem? I'm just surprised that you're coming to the one YouTube channel that's telling you not to buy the game to come and try to maybe insinuate that I'm a shill, yet you're going to sneak and go buy the game once you see us having fun. It's those kind of people, you know, once they see us laughing and, you know, we're shooting these, you know, brain dead, brainiac NPCs and laughing and go, ha, ah, ha, you know, me and my buddies, we jumped right in there and we just messed everything up. They're going to be like, man, I want to get in some of that. And they're going to change their username and they're going to go by and enjoy the game. The pretense and the pretext within which these people come out here to try to tell us that, you know, we're low quality gamers. This is what they're trying to say. They just don't want to say it that we're low quality gamers. It's our fault that the gaming industry is bad. When most of the games that came out this year were single player games and many of them were bad. I mean, these people are gonna come out here and tell us that, oh, this is the thing. And then we tell them, don't play the game. And then they're like, no, we're still gonna be. Calm down, people. I'm not working hard to sell Warner Brothers game for them. I'm just making videos on the game that I want to play. And while I'm at it, if you keep leaving these comments, I'm gonna add you to the roster and farm you for views. It is what it is. Thank you very much for watching the video. Appreciate you guys' time and audience. Those of you in the community that are playing the Suicide Squad game, I've set up a Discord server. I'm going to put the link in the description so that you guys can join. We can talk about comic books. We can talk about Arkham games. I have channels for a lot of that stuff set up and some on the way. And it should be fun, I guess. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.